We are back now with a sensational murder case featured in a new documentary that has become something of a national obsession. So many people binging on the 10-part series Making a Murderer. Many viewers coming away feeling a miscarriage of justice may have taken place in Wisconsin. And as NBC's Stephanie Gosk reports, there are now calls for the president himself to get involved. The Netflix documentary Making a Murderer begins with a happy ending to a tragic story about a miscarriage of justice. Stephen Avery, wrongfully imprisoned 18 years for sexual assault and attempted murder, was exonerated by DNA evidence in 2003. But Avery's story was far from over. It was all that a storyteller would want. You had compelling characters, complex characters, high stakes, incredible conflict. In 2004, a year after his release, Avery filed a federal civil lawsuit for wrongful conviction, seeking $36 million. He would later settle for 440000 just over a year later, 25-year-old freelance photographer Teresa Halbeck was murdered. Police charged Avery with the crime and accused his nephew, Brandon Dassey, of being an accomplice. Find the defendant guilty of Both were convicted. The documentary suggests the defendants were framed with evidence planted by the same law enforcement agencies Avery was suing and that police coerced a confession from Dassey. Released in December, the 10-part series gained an instant following, even triggering two petitions asking President Obama to issue a full pardon. One calls Avery's story an abomination of due process. Facing intense public criticism, the former prosecutor in the Teresa Halbach murder is pushing back, claiming the filmmakers left out critical pieces of physical and forensic evidence. He told NBC News that the complete set of facts is inconsistent with the claim that Avery was framed. I call it a movie, I don't call it a documentary, because it doesn't share all the facts. Meantime, the reviews keep coming in, and they are glowing, including Ricky Gervais tweeting, it deserves a Nobel Prize. You have the wrong guy. Netflix has its next big hit. Well, for now, Stephen Avery is watching behind bars, still in prison, serving life without parole. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.